We were the black Indians. You stink at lying. Hello everyone, today I'm going to be responding to an Afrocentric rant by an Afrocentric YouTuber by the username Medicine Man, whose overall channel is dedicated to inventing and embellishing everything regarding the idea that Native Americans were actually originally black, while also claiming that white Europeans stole their history, providing nothing more than poorly to unsourced inferences and unscientific analyses. Now without further ado, I'm going to be delving into this video and debunking all this racist bullshit propaganda. So the video starts off depicting the Bering Strait theory and the accurate analysis that Native Americans were descended from indigenous groups in Siberia. The first people to reach Americas came from Siberia, now in Russia, in a single group around 23,000 years ago at the height of the last ice age. While also depicting the different phenotypes of Native Americans by means of ancestry. And then the video goes on to detail the cultural similarities of Native Americans and indigenous Siberians in an attempt to prove that Native Americans are of foreign descent. You know, like every other human population on Earth outside Africa. And then the video proceeds to analyze the phenotypical characteristics of Chinese people and other East Asian groups in comparison to Native Americans. Before providing a poorly sourced citation detailing the conflation of identities between Native Americans and Chinese people. And afterwards, the video goes on to claim that the white man stole the history and culture of black Americans in addition to citing Ironized Cody a European-American of Italian descent famous for portraying the crying Indian while also wearing red face. After more depictions of Western political cartoons featuring racial stereotypes, the video finally makes a point in its thesis stating that black Americans are the true indigenous peoples of the Americas while making a side-by-side -side comparison of the rhythms and dancing between the Aboriginal Americans and the Native Americans, noting that the true natives show enthusiasm in their dancing as opposed to the foreigners, which obviously doesn't prove anything. Afterwards, the video proceeds to depict more phenotypical characteristics of Native Americans as well as artworks and artifacts once again claiming that blacks are the true natives. In addition, a screenshot of Medicine Man, the author of this video, is presented informing its audience about the self-awareness of their history, which is rather ironic to say the least given the fact that these Afrocentric extremists are so insecure about their true heritage that they try to disassociate themselves from Africans and cling to other cultures that are generally less bastardized. Then the video cites Walter Plecker, whom this video claims was responsible for the paper genocide of millions of Aboriginal Americans. It turns out he was a segregationist and eugenicist who did indeed advocate for the cultural genocide of Native Americans in Virginia specifically. So yeah, the video just embellished the veracity of his crimes. After presenting a couple of illustrations featuring eugenics, the video analyzes superficial characteristics between cherry-picked artworks of Mesoamericans and Black Americans despite the fact that the physical features in these people and these artworks and artifacts can be found in modern Native Americans and are completely unrelated to blacks whatsoever. Then the video finally states its conclusion by stating that the white man deliberately stole the heritage of Aboriginal Americans and encouraging its audience to make the Americas great again by spreading the truth, more specifically, Medicine Man's version of truth. To sum this all up, here are a few points by Jabari regarding the history theft of Native Americans by Afrocentrists. While it is true that many African Americans possess Native American heritage, the average percent hovers only around about 0.8%. When compared to the facial features of indigenous people of the region, they are virtually identical, as these are genetic adaptations to tropical climates found in many diverse populations all around the world, not just Africans. Among the biggest questions for this theory of original black Native Americans are, why don't any black people of North or South America speak any Native American languages? Why are these languages spoken exclusively by people who are copper-skinned, straight-haired mongoloids? Also, why do blacks have the same genetic disorders and attributes of people from Africa like sickle cell anemia, G6PD deficiency, and tightly coiled hair? All traits that are virtually non-existent in Native Americans, Europeans, or Asians. And why didn't blacks die from old world diseases like the copper-skinned peoples did, whom only make up 2% of the current population of the United States as a result of it? Why does virtually all indigenous art of the Americas portray physical features of these peoples instead of blacks? Even Olmec art, the creators of the giant stone heads. The overwhelming majority of their art is created in the image of these people, bearing features that are undeniably Native American. And here's the moral of this video. Simply put, stop trying to steal history from other people. That is one of the most disgusting things you can possibly do. 
One big gripe from these extreme Afrocentrists is that the white man stole our history. Well you know what? You are not doing any better by trying to steal other people's history are you? Two wrongs don't make a right. There are many Afrocentric people out there who try to claim that Africans created every major civilization on earth. Native Americans were copper-toned, straight, black-haired mongoloids who inhabited the American continents. They grew and developed several different civilizations all throughout these lands, ranging from stone tool-using hunter-gatherer cultures to Bronze Age kingdoms who built cities of stone. They are distinct people with their own unique languages, cultures, traditions, and physical characteristics, none of which equate to Africans. I don't care what Ivan Sertima said in his book, although interesting, he has no archaeological evidence to back his claims, just theories and observations. Statues and dolls that have curly hair do not automatically mean that the civilization has African origins. Then there are the dark-skinned peoples in other parts of the world such as Australian Aboriginals and Polynesians, who people claim were of African descent. Newsflash, these features can all be explained by climate. It is common knowledge that hot and tropical areas with more sun generally have darker-skinned people, a genetic adaptation to protect their bodies from harmful UV rays. This is why Australia has the highest rate of skin cancer in the world. Its native people are dark-skinned, whereas its conquerors are fair-skinned. Genetically, culturally, and linguistically, natives of these regions are more similar to Southeast Asians than Africans. And just because their skin is the same color as ours does not mean we are the same people. If that logic made any sense, then that would mean that Latinos and Arabs are related just because they have similar features. In extreme cases, some Afrocentric people even try to take credit for every single major civilization, from Chinese to Romans, from Aztecs to Inca, from Egyptians to Persians. They try to claim that black people brought civilization to the entire world. If any of this stuff at all were true, from Native Americans being black to blacks being the fathers of all world civilization, the evidence should be slapping us in the face. Be proud of your own history and do some research before sweeping it under the rug and trying to claim someone else's as your own. Thanks for your insightful perspective, Jabari. Before I wrap up, I'd like to conclude this video with a message to Medicine Man. Your ideas are utterly nonsensical and your argument is completely shoddy. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed what you just saw, please like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. See you later.